Here we're asked to solve a rational inequality. We'll begin by obtaining zero here on the right side. To do that, we'll subtract x over x plus four on both sides. Next, we need to simplify the left side here to a single algebraic fraction. Let's begin by factoring this denominator. And we can see here that the LCD, the common denominator, is gonna be 2x minus one times x plus four. So we'll multiply numerator and denominator of this second algebraic fraction by 2x minus one. Now that we have a common denominator, we can subtract the numerators and write the result over the single common denominator. And at this point, we can see that we can simplify the numerator here by distributing the negative x. Negative x times 2x is negative 2x squared, and then negative x times negative one is plus x. And then in the numerator, we have 2x squared minus 2x squared, well those add up to zero, and we're left with the simplified algebraic fraction x over 2x minus one times x plus four, which is greater than or equal to zero. Now it's at this point we're ready to solve this by using a sign chart. Let's begin by finding the critical numbers. Now the critical numbers consist of the roots and the restrictions. Remember the roots are the x values that evaluate to zero in the numerator. So in this case we have a root at x equals zero. Now we have restrictions here. Restrictions are the x values that evaluate to zero in the denominator. Here we have a restriction at one half. and another restriction here at x equals negative four. Once we find our restrictions, we can then construct a sign chart. Now because of the inclusive inequality, we'll place a closed dot here at the root x equals zero. Now we always place open dots on restrictions, so an open dot here at one half, and negative four. These three, these three critical numbers break the number line up into four regions. Now we need to test whether the rational expression here is positive or negative in each region. And so in this case, I'll choose x equals two to be my first test value. So f of two will equal now remember, we're only concerned about the sign, so when I plug in two into the numerator, that'll definitely give me a positive factor. Plugging in two into the denominator here, we have two times two, which is four minus one, is three, that's a positive factor. Substituting two here, we have two plus four, which is six, and that's a positive factor. So a positive factor divided by two positive factors, the result will be positive. And that will be true for any test value you choose in this interval. Next, we'll test a number in between zero and one half, say one fourth. Substituting in one fourth in the numerator, we'll have a positive factor. In the denominator, two times one fourth is one half, and then one half minus one is negative one half, so that's gonna be negative. One fourth plus four would be a positive number. And so a positive number divided by a negative number will result in a negative value. So in that interval, we know the results will be negative. Let's choose say negative one and test those values. Okay, so f of negative one will be equal to well, x, which is negative one in the numerator, will give me a negative uh, factor. In the denominator, substituting in negative one, we'll have two times negative one, which is negative two minus one, is negative. Okay, plugging in negative one here, negative one plus four will give me a positive factor. 
And so a negative number divided by a negative number will have a positive result. So in this interval, the results will be positive. And then finally, this last interval, let's go ahead and test negative 5. So f of negative 5 will be equal to a negative factor in the numerator divided by two negative factors in the denominator. So a negative factor divided by a positive factor, the result will be negative. And so this is our sign chart. We'll use this to answer the question. When is this rational expression greater than or equal to zero? Or in other words, when is this positive? And so from our sign chart, we can see that we obtain positive results when x is in between negative 4 and 0, and also when x is greater than 1 half. Now we can write this using interval notation, parenthesis negative 4 to 0 inclusive using a bracket union parenthesis one half to infinity.